So a common problem with belts is belt sag. And today we're going to cover the ways that you can mitigate belt sag and end up with a more comfortable belt that will just work better. First and foremost, it's important to start off by having a, a high quality belt system. That means having a rigid outer belt as well as a rigid inner belt. And a rigid inner belt is important because it's the foundation that supports the weight of the whole system. Some other things that are important is the Velcro connection between the inner and outer belt. If that Velcro connection is disrupted by some of the different accessories you have on there or anything else, that is going to be a spot where it's possible for the outer belt to kind of pull away or sag away from the inner belt. You're going to want to mitigate any times where there's a disruption in that Velcro connection. And that could include things like tech lock mounts here. So this holster has a tech lock mount and that issue has been resolved by putting hook Velcro, an adhesive backed hook Velcro on the inside of this tech lock mount. So now this mount is going to connect very well to the loop Velcro on the inner belt. Uh, another thing is attaching using Molly. This is our duty belt light. This does not have Molly on it, but on belts that do have Molly, anything you attach to the outside will obviously not disrupt that connection between the inner and outer belt. If you don't have Molly, you can use things like easy tape. So here is some easy tape here. This is a uh, double sided hook and loop and it is actually a surprisingly secure way to attach accessories to a belt. And the beauty of it is it holds everything really well, whether you're, it's attached to the inner belt or not, and it does not disrupt the Velcro connection between the inner and outer belt. Now, if you're looking for more support on top of that, or you have um, other issues based on some gear that you really can't modify or change, we do also offer belt keepers as well that are available on our website. Now, another consideration is weight. Obviously, the less weight you have on your belt, the better. Uh, having a lightweight belt and lightweight accessories is gonna go a long way in helping you. Uh, at Blue Alpha, that's one of the things we focused the most on is making sure that all of our products are extremely lightweight, uh, which makes the whole package much lighter weight and will mitigate belt sag as part of that. And then finally, uh, it's important to make sure that you keep the loads close to your belt and to your body. Keep them as close as possible. Any gear that sticks out far away from your belt is going to cause some sort of leverage on the belt. Uh, it's just kind of a simple physics thing. Uh, it's something to think about when you are choosing gear and you're attaching that gear is you wanna keep the loads as close as possible. This can be especially important with your, your pistol, since that's likely going to be the heaviest thing that you attach to your belt. Make sure it is mounted well and up close to the body and you will just have a better overall experience. Hopefully this information was useful to you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let us know and check out all of our products at our website at bluealphabelts.com.